Hey, so in a previous tutorial, using the multi-cut tool, I showed you a way to manually clean up your topology. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you an automatic way to do so, which is faster and requires a lot less work. This is really good for simple mechanical shapes and for just getting better to topology to start with. Okay, so as you can see, I've got an object here which has just been booleaned. The topology isn't great and we've got engons pretty much everywhere. So, what you could do is use the multi-cut tool to cut around your object to fit, start fixing some of these engons. However, what we're going to be doing in this tutorial is much faster. So, down here you have a box for mail commands. So if we type poly retopo, so poly with a lowercase p, capital R, retopo, and with a semicolon at the end, with the object selected and hit enter, you'll see that it retopologizes our mesh into a bunch of quads, which is great, which is just what we want. However, it's a little bit dense. So you go to the attribute editor and find the settings for the poly retopo uh, command. You'll see that under the topology menu, you'll find that the target face count is set to 2000, which is quite high. So what I'm actually going to try is set this to like 100 for example. What you can see now is that it's obviously reduced it a lot and it's also filled in all these n-gons with quads, which is what we want. It's a little bit too uh, reduced, so let's try 200, which is working a lot better. However, because I'm going to be um, beveling these edges, I don't want pinching coming across when I sort out the topology. So I'm going to try something like 400, just to get a bit more density on this curved edge here. Brilliant. So. What we can do now, we have this. If you hit free, you can see that it's kind of working quite nicely, but we want these edges to be a lot harder. So we can go ahead and bevel all these. So let's just go around the mesh, selecting the edges we want to bevel. Let's quickly do it like so. Pretty sure that's all. Okay, brilliant. So now we've selected all the edges we want to um, make hard. We can just bevel that. So control B. Um, I'm going to add two segments in and just reduce the fraction just a smidge. Brilliant. Obviously, now we have n-gons in these quads here. So, with the multi-cut tool, we can simply just connect these ones up. Brilliant. So now we've done that, we can hit free on the keyboard. You can now see that the boolean object is now clean, has nice topology, and we're ready to go into your final asset. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. There are more parameters to play around with, obviously. However, this is really just the basics of Myers Auto Topology. If you get stuck at any point, leave a comment, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.